so today's video is pretty exciting. It's probably, I'm probably going to have to cut it into two separate videos, but we're going to see. I'm going to see if I can't fit it all in here in this one video. But if it gets to be past 10 minutes, then I'll probably have to split it in half and make a part two. But, oh my goodness, I went into one of my favorite Dollar Trees over this weekend and... As soon as I walked in the door, it was like fall explosion. I was so excited. Uh, I just went, I zoned out at the fall stuff and just started loading my little basket up. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Now I'm going to show you the first few things that I have and they are not fall related, but still exciting nonetheless and they were on my wish list. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. First of all is the uh, travel pack of the Assured Antibacterial Wet Wipes. You get 40 in here. It's normally 30, um, but they're giving you a, an extra 10. So, this was a really good deal. Now, my Dollar Trees have been out of these for ages, ever since pretty much the COVID started. So, um, I was excited to find these because I like to keep this in my car. So, um, you know, when you're going in and out of places and you're touching the door handles and things like that, um, I, I like to have some of these around so I can wash my hands off and my steering wheel, my doorknob, my gear handle, my gear shift on my car. Because um, I normally don't carry hand sanitizer since it's got alcohol in it and they said on the news, you know, it could cause a fire. So I just don't do that. I leave my hand sanitizer um, at home. And speaking of hand sanitizer, I'm almost out and I can't find it anywhere. So, I don't know. I'll just have to keep looking. Okay. The next things that were on my wish list were these um, Garnier Fruit Teas Dry Shampoos. Now, this is a really good deal because Garnier is not that, it's not really all that expensive, but it's not cheap either. It's definitely not a dollar. So, but I was excited whenever I found these, so I went ahead and just grabbed three of them, and I've heard that this is a really good uh, dry shampoo, and um, normally I use the Suave dry shampoo, but I mean, I'm willing to try this. It's the Garnier Fruit Tea Style Pure Clean Dry Shampoo. There's 3.4 ounces in here, um, so I don't know. Hopefully it's good because I got three of them. <laughs> so anyway, grab those. Um, these were new. I have not seen these before, but um, I thought it was pretty cool. They are the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation with SPF 15. It's liquid foundation in a cushion compact. Now they had several different colors to choose from and I am a redhead, so I'm kind of fair. Um, I do get a little bit darker in the summertime, but so anyway, I picked up the colors, um, natural beige, nude beige, and buff beige, and they, it says on here, it contains natural coconut, um, derivative, so I don't know, I thought this was really cool, and Wet n Wild is a name brand, uh, that you can purchase from Walmart, so... I grabbed these. Now, I've never used a cushion type foundation before, so I'm not real sure how it works, but, and I hope at least one of these colors works for my skin tone. <laughs> Being a redhead, it's kind of hard to find skin tone, like the foundation that matches my skin, so. Anyway, next I found these two. Um, they're by Echo Tools, Woven Cleansing Cloths. Uh, it's the Bamboo Charco. It says, purify and soften skin, specially woven in charcoal blended fibers. Um, I found two of, I grabbed two of these. They had several to, to get, so um, I figured I'd just get a couple of them. But that was a really good deal, too, because these are, you know, Echo Tools, which is a name brand that you can get um, at any other kind of uh, store like Walmart or I think maybe Target or Walgreens even carries these. I'm not real sure. But anyway, I was happy to find those. The next thing that I found is, I think this is really cute. It's a wooden wipe-off board. And 
I found this in the Crafter Square section. They had two different kinds. They had this one that's like the chalkboard, and then they had one that was uh, like a whiteboard, um, dry erase board. So I just went ahead and grabbed the chalkboard one, but it's um, got a little kickstand, it looks like, on the back here so that you can prop it up. But I thought this was really cute, and it was, I, my idea was to put, write something on it, um, like for the season or whatever, like fall's coming up. Um, maybe write something fallish on there and set it on my three tiered tray. So I went ahead and grabbed one of those. Okay, guys, so the next thing that I got, I don't know if you remember, in my, if you watched my last haul, I hauled the new 2021 calendars. And in that uh, video, I said I was on the hunt for the farmer's market uh, calendar. And I went to so many Dollar Trees and as soon as I walked into this one, I immediately went to the calendars and it was right there. It was setting right there. It was the first one that I saw. I was gonna pick up a couple more and um, that way I can have one to do DIYs with and then one just to hang in my kitchen um, as a calendar for next year. But I didn't, I only found the one. But anyway, look at it. This is, this was on my wish list. I have been wanting this so bad and I finally found it. I am so happy, but um, I'll show you the back of it. And I'm sure if you watched all our tree hauls, you've probably seen this hauled already, but I just love this honeybee. I think that one is probably one of my favorites, but I mean, if you just look at them, there's so many good ones on there. I mean, look at this pumpkin one that is so stinking cute. Oh, I just love it. And the Christmas tree one. Oh, I love it. This is just amazing. It's amazing. So anyway, I was so happy to find that one. And um, the other one that I found that I really like too, it's, it says Simply Blessed on it, and this one is also sort of a farmhouse-y themed type um, calendar. And then on the back, trying to keep the glare off, but those are really nice. Those would look really cute too if you wanted to frame them or something or do some sort of a DIY with. But the little Easter Bunny one, that's so cute. I just love it. They're so farmhousey like this is more of a I don't know probably a modern farmhouse type uh, decor but anyway was so happy to find those okay so the next things that I found are really super cool and these are I don't know pretty new this year I believe um but look at these these are so cute I grabbed two of them I probably should have grabbed a couple more, but um, it does say Farm Fresh Pumpkins, 25 cents a pound, and that is glitter, which I don't really understand why they put glitter on a sign that you're probably going to put outside, um, but anyway, that's all the glitter that's on it, though, so that's good, but this is so cool. I just loved it, so I grabbed two of them, so one of them I may end up putting out in my yard. The other one I may end up doing some sort of a DIY with. Um, I'm not real sure yet, but anyway, I couldn't pass them up. It's so cute. Uh, I don't know if everybody's sick of the red trucks, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, now they had this one last year, but last year I couldn't find this one. So all I could find last year was the, I believe it was the one that has all the pumpkins on it. And I was looking for the one with the apple and couldn't find it. So, but this year they have it. So I was excited to see it, and I went ahead and just grabbed one of those. It does have this little metal leaf, which I'm going to spin that out of the way. And it says Farm Fresh on there. I like these little sunflowers. It says locally grown produce, 100% organic. And it is in the shape of an apple. So I thought that was really nice, and I was excited to find that. Um, the next one, I don't think that they had... They had signs similar to this last year. Um, I don't know if they had this exact one, though. If they did, I don't think I got it. <laughs> if I did, I don't have a clue. But anyway, it says pumpkin spice and everything nice. So 
So I think this is really cute too. I love, I just love the way it looks. And I just love decorating with pumpkins in the fall. Nothing says fall like pumpkins, right? So anyway, grabbed one of those. Let's see what on my hat. Okay, I'm already at 10 minutes, y'all. Oh, okay. Maybe I can do a couple more things and then I'll have to to be continued. <laughs> okay, this last thing right here I'm going to show is the Crafter Square. There's five in here. It's Color Your Own Ornament. And they're just made out of little uh, cutouts of, of, I guess that's maybe MDF board or, I don't know, some sort of wood. But um, they have the leaves. Now I'm looking for the pumpkin cutouts. Those are the ones that I'm really interested in finding. Haven't found them yet, but maybe they'll get them in. So anyway, grabbed one of those. So guys, that is part one of this humongous Dollar Tree haul. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here, and then I'm going to start filming the part two. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I wish you would. And I hope that you guys are having a good start to your day, whatever, or start to your week. Because when I'm fil filming this, it is Monday. So, back to the grindstone. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys are all having a good week. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye!